Ladies and gentlemen, Jackson Baker, the action man himself, and Dad, welcome to the FWL Headquarters podcast uh, for the first time ever. How's Jackson, it going? Why don't you reintroduce yourself to the video world? So my name is Jackson Baker, and I am from Farmington, Missouri, and um. And what where you train at? Oh, uh, I train at Le- Legends in the in Park Hills, Missouri. Okay. And See, what do you do? I do wrestling MMA Jiu Jitsu. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. And Dad, what's your name? Um, I'm I'm Clayton. That's awesome. Uh, That's an um, awesome name. Yeah. I like yeah, the name. I, I don't really like, but it it is what it is. Uh, I was given it. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's not the name that defines you. It's yourself and your character that defines you. Exactly. Famous, exactly. Right? Just and like and Jack, middle Jackson. name I go by. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jax, Jax, let me ask you. Do people call you Jackson or Jax for the most part? So, mostly they call me Jax because it's a shorter. It's just shorter. <laughs> it's just shorter. It's shorter. What do you prefer, yeah. Jackson or Jax? Jax. You do prefer Jax. Like the Mortal Kombat character Jax, right? Yeah. Can't get more B- BA than that, right? Uh-huh, right? Isn't he the guy with the big metal arms or whatever in Mortal Kombat, yeah. Jax? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Jax is the guy who used to, uh, never mind. You, know, you probably never played Mortal Kombat. That's not a necessarily a good game necessarily for young people, maybe. <laughs> in our era, we played Mortal Kombat. Anyway... Jackson, why don't you tell the fine folks on here who are just tuning in by via video any uh, your exciting career so far in uh, youth MMA? So my career has been going on for two and a half years, not even two and a half years, like two. That just hit two years. Um, two years in April. Yeah. So two years and two months. Uh, well, you can't do math. You better be good at this. <laughs> uh, but uh, so what, what, so you went to in November last year. You went to MMA Worlds. What what did you get? I got second in MMA Worlds last year. Mm-hmm. And what did you what's your record? Do you remember? My record is three and one. And he uh, he went against. Uh, he went against a kid from Czech Czech Republic. Oh, uh, it was there. There was all country. There was a whole bunch of countries. Uh, uh, that there. Mm-hmm. Um, he went and then the uh, everyone that podium was uh was American, but um he lost to he lost um his last match uh by decision mm-hmm. uh and he and he, he had a three. Figure. Oh, all, all of them. He actually, he's. It was funny. He did this uh, MMA Worlds tournament, and he had like two months of MMA training. He just went in there with a re- with a wrestling and jujitsu background, mm-hmm. and he got. And most of the kids that he went against were all like ten plus fights under their belt, and he was making his debut. So, I can. I can. I mean, he wanted the first. I we obviously wanted first, but plus. it was a good first showing. You know what I mean? I get it. I mean, I kind of just threw him into the a bigger tournament. But <laughs> the metal's <laughs> Yeah, that, okay, so Gamma had first started whenever, uh, like, that was their first national championship or uh, world championship. But now they have the, the next, this, this last one he has a training partner at uh, right now, and it's in Greece. And, like, they have belts for the, for the, win- for the winners now, and then they have a cool medal. But the first medal wasn't a very cool medal, so he's not too impressed with the with the medal. <laughs> with the medal. But uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, right now he if you, if you can see this is his he's standing on a chair right now trying to sort of draw, and this is just like maybe a quarter of his medals. Yeah, most of them we donate to the gym. Well, we just have them all hanging at the gym because um, there's just too many. Uh, yeah, he's got that. about sixty gold medals. Just gold, um, belts, trophies. So, 
it's just kind of too much. <laughs> it's yeah, too much it. for the house. I hear a jingle, jingle, jingle all throughout the house all the time. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Does he keep counting his medals? Is that why? Or just adding it to them? Adding it to them. Adding it to them. That's nothing wrong with that, I guess. <laughs> nothing wrong with that at all. I actually, yeah. when I used to compete, they didn't give out belts yet, uh, which I wish they did. That would have been great. But they gave out trophies back in the day, and they were usually made of plastic or whatever, or some cheap metal is what they used to give us for competing way back yeah, like in the 80s. Because I'm old. <laughs> just like that, yeah? I, like I had a whole room that was made out of That's awesome. Is that made? Of, is that plastic, too, or is that like yeah, metal? It's plastic, and then it's got like it's wrapped. And That's it's what they gave us. I mean, for the most part, I kept most of the big ones at the, de- at the dojo, as we called it. And um, okay, yeah. That's for the most part. Well, some people call it dojos. Some people call it gyms. Yeah, we, we, we make gyms, so we call it a uh, gym. Yeah, like we also don't bow when we get on the mat. Oh yeah, like Ko Komodos, uh, they sponsored me. That's awesome. So, that looks like your wrestling attire. That's good. I mean, that looks like uh, an attire you're going to be. I, I looks like yeah, a- it's a no good stuff. Is that like, is that a good help? You like that color scheme right there, the green and the yellow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are those your favorite colors, green and yellow? No, not necessarily. What are um, your favorite colors? Red and black. Red and black. Of course, red and black. That's a silly question. You like red and black then? Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I actually used to like red and black myself, but unfortunately, uh, my rival's high school was red and black, so I couldn't wear red and black at, when I was in high school. And I used to wrestle on the high school's team. So I couldn't wear red and black when I was facing our biggest rivals because their color, their colors are red and black. Our school colors are blue and white. So I, mm-hmm. I, I was not happy about such things. But, hey, what are you going to do? Right? Yeah. So let me ask you, because you do wrestling as well as Brazilian jiu-jitsu, right? Yeah. How how does the wrestling help you? Does the wrestling you think help you with your Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and and if so, how? Uh, so wrestling helps me a lot because I don't like being on on bottom. Is, I don't like oh, being on my back. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't think anybody. I, he's not your typical like BJJ guard player. He's I'm a, I I go only on top like sometimes he'll he'll surprise people like like this last tournament he uh he tried to he tried to pull guard right into an arm bar and it it took me by by surprise and they call it a they call it a jumping uh a, a jumping arm bar where okay. you, where you kind of jump and just fall fall over and and you, you get him in an arm bar he, right. did, he almost got it he's about he got his leg caught underneath but i mean so he does try some of the stuff, and like he can bust moves from bottom, but he does not want to be there. You can tell he's very uncomfortable when he's there. Play and plus, he did it to himself. You know what I mean? He did it intentionally. I get it. I get it. And uh, yeah. I don't blame you there either. I don't know anybody who wants to be on the bottom position because, all honesty, being on the bottom, you also open yourself up to either more. T- pretending- depending on what you are trained in, like in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, it's mostly all um, submissions, correct? Yeah. yeah, it's all submissions. So, which I actually prefer. But I, I mean, mean, if you're if you're like seven, eight, or eight, like, and the other person's nine or ten, they they'll ask you if you want to do submissions. I usually say yeah. I would, right? I gotta tell you, when I competed, I was smaller than you. When I competed, by the way, I was tiny, very, very, very tiny. I was yeah, short. I think I'm around six. I was five when I started doing t- competitions. I was four when I started martial arts. Well, I, did, I did Kenpo Karate first and then Judo. Muay Thai, which is Thai kickboxing, traditional. And then I added Chun Kudu, which is the style that Chuck Norris teaches. I found and then I got into that. And then I did and then American boxing and then obviously wrestling and obviously uh, pro wrestling as well. But we don't count pro wrestling. There's no... None of that applies to combat sports, but in combat sports, you know, that's kind of where my thing is at. Now, what some, some people don't know is that in Chun Kudu, there's a lot of submissions similar to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because Chuck Norris kind of likes a lot of those types of things himself, rear naked chokes and so forth. For you, do you prefer getting a tap out submission 
win versus a point submission, point victory. Do you know what I mean? Can you hear me well? Uh-huh. Okay, good. Um, he's thinking. Oh, I don't blame you. He's trying to follow because I talk really fast. And I have my br brilliant Eastern accent. <laughs> yeah, you have, uh, yeah I, I did recognize the accent. Uh, I hear so yours just, too, though. It's delightful. I think submissions because you just get it. Like I'm going, I'm going to a super fight this week. Okay. And it's sub only. It's sub. It's submission only. Okay. So points don't even matter. Awesome. And I, I like getting it done like that. I don't blame you. That's it. How do you prepare for your fights individually? Like, how do you prepare prepare for like a super fight versus a tournament? Who are your training partners? Uh, my training partners. Caden Kazan, Lily Petty. How old are they? Caden's 12. And almost 13. Lily's 12. She's almost 13. And Holly's 11. Holly's 11. Winston's 13. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he doesn't go with anybody that's his age at all, period. <laughs> Just nothing. He's the youngest kid in this in his gym. Yeah. He hasn't started. Do you prefer? Um, do you like that? Do you like being the youngest person in the gym, or do you prefer like if there were more kids your age there? I'm starting to. I'm. I'm starting to beat everybody there. I'm. I'm starting to beat everybody there. I like that confidence. That's good. He, he was a nail for. He was a hammer for a little bit. Then, then like the, the the kids, you know, like they were older, so they learned a little quicker. Mm -hmm. So they, they they started beating him a lot, and he was discouraged at first. And he had he had, uh, I was like, listen, bud, you know, whenever. It, it, your time will come back around, you know. I mean, it, 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 and then whenever I turned eight, started I started taking it a little more serious, and then I I I started tapping them out, winning, and then now that I'm nine, I'm I'm, I'm beating them a lot. Cool. They still get him a lot. They still get him a lot too. It's it's normally scraps, you know. What I mean, good scraps though. Like you like. You find out who that dog is, you know what I mean, and he really like primes you up for any, because you got to think like he's he's going against these twelve and thirteen year olds that smash they smash their brackets too. Our every, every time we go to our gym goes to a that's one thing I say about our gym is it's a really really good gym. I mean, I went to uh, ADCC uh, two weeks ago. Mm, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I went to ADCC uh, two weeks ago. I know that one. That's a competition, right? That's the big martial art judo type yeah, thing. He place. He he almost he, he lost in overtime to a a, a yellow belt, a, a ten year old yellow belt. No, we're um, not. Yeah, no, he was he wasn't happy about it. That was his first tournament. He ain't never he didn't place that, but he had six world champions in his uh bracket. So I can't did hate beat, on that. Did you beat other the other champions in the bracket other than that kid? Uh, I beat I beat a. It, yeah, one kid. one kid, and then you beat one. He beat one runner up that, oh, that got know. second at Pans this year. And it, it, I don't know if you know anything about Pans, but I just located a kid's food. But, uh, but uh, Pans kid, kids Pans is the biggest tournament in the uh, in the entire world for kids. Absolutely. So that kid got tournament. second this year at that tournament. Uh, but Jackson beat him in like I don't want to say like forty five seconds. It was a pretty good match. Uh, he, uh, he 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 got on the attack real real good on uh, on him, and so he he beat that kid, and then he got he had a bad call put on him. It happens. Uh, the kid did an illegal move. They didn't know about it until until it was over. So that's a um, that was one of his first losses, and then the second loss costed him uh, third place. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but. It, so it is what it is. It happens. Uh, the the kid that he went against was, was amazing. Both both all oh, every kid that he went against there was, I mean, there's six world champions. Uh, two of them were yellow belt champions. Um, and then four of them. Yeah, the kid that you went against that Harrison Casper kid, he was he was a fan champ. Um, it, and then the L girl, she's she's amazing. And yeah. and uh, Jared. Yeah, J Jared Jared Jansen. Uh, Ian Mundragon, all, all, every one of these kids. Uh, the, if you ever, uh, if you ever get time, Jared the, the Tan Bros, they are absolute animals. Uh, and he did really good. But the, the, the kid got out of the friend. So yeah, know, that was our first experience. 
for uh from ADCC, but uh, we're doing another one in Orlando in Nor in November. Okay. I need to grab some. So um, it'll be um, uh, hopefully he's um, if he doesn't, it's okay. But hopefully, it's a different uh result. Uh, he's working hard for it. Sure. Uh, and he's got two or three other tournaments until uh, uh until that uh tournament. So he's going to fine tune some things, work on some attacks, things like that. Awesome. Yeah, I know. Oh, I he's got talking about the, the he, he got he got third at the uh, There you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got I got third at Worlds with 3 hours of sleep. Um three hours we of got, sleep. Yeah, our car broke down. It was terrible. Brutal. Car broke down. We had a we got it was in Texas. Oh. We got there at twelve o'clock at night. No, like one. Oh, like three. Like three o'clock at night. <laughs> In the morning. And then we we had to wake up at six. So we wake up at six. I'm like, I'm like, this is so tired. <laughs> I went in there and I lost in the semifinal. Yeah, he lost uh, in the semifinals and then beat the other kid for uh, third uh, with a submission. He lost by points to a kid two to nothing. Uh, uh, he ended up winning uh, winning both brackets. Uh, so it, I mean, the kid was really good. He got promoted to yellow belt the like the moment after he won. So it was really cool for that kid, uh, and, and he put up a really good fight. It was a really good scrap. I mean. He's lost some tough, close ones, but uh, uh, yeah, the, it was a good time though. We had a really great time, and uh, he had a good showing. So that's awesome. That's awesome. You have that, you know, that sportsmanship there. Let me ask you a question though. Um, so, do you think you're going to face these people again? And when you face them again, what do you think the outcome is going to be? If you do, if I face them again. I'm going to beat them. That's right. That's what you said. That's what I was hoping you'd say. Now he all every time he loses, he's like, "I'm gonna get that one back. Like I'm gonna that. get it back." <laughs> I lost. I lost twice to this kid in wrestling, and he lost to me twice. Hmm. Uh, we gotta do another one this year. It's a rubber match, and they're they're, they're, they're really good wrestlers. That that kid just wrestles. Period. Jackson just started taking wrestling serious. He he was more of a jujitsu kid. But uh, who's your who's your uh, who's your mentor in the gym? Joe. Joe Brian. No, as far as kids go. No, Brian's your coach. He's oh. Not a kid. <laughs> oh. The person who I go against. I no, who, 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 who you look up to? Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guess who he looks up to. See? Oh, say, well, he don't know. Tell him. Do you know who Talon Warden is? Tyler Morgan? Talon Warden. Don't look him up. I I have I might have heard of that name. I know quite a few people to be to be clear. I do know some, not all yet. Pretty much I have a pretty good grasp of most of them. I don't if know you if go I on uh my page, you'll see him. He won ADCC advance. He's he's a twelve year old that is one hundred and fifty pounds. He looks like a grown up. He he looks like a grown adult. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, he's 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 amazing. I didn't say cuss word. <laughs> Stop. Stop. We, we, we don't mind. You can swear on this show. We don't. We don't. We don't find you for swearing. I was like, I was like, sure. I didn't even hear you. So that's a good one. Good job. I, he knew you what know, I was I saying. Went, he goes, yeah. I, I went and. And I, I was going to say ass, but then I, I was like, oh. On this show, it's all it. about being yourselves and speaking from the hip. That's what we do here. Uh, so if, you, if you have a word comes out, and that's we don't give you a hard time about that here. Yeah. It's all right. <laughs> it happens. Awesome. We're human. <laughs> if you stub your toe, you don't say ouch, I hope. Maybe you do. <laughs> I don't. I do. <laughs> you say I ouch? No, I don't say ouch. Jackson, I bet I bet Jackson doesn't say ouch either if he stu if he gets his toe hard, huh? All right, go on. I got I'm gonna smoke a cigarette, so go ahead. I can't. I gotta stay right here. Come on. 
Zero. Oh, you're gonna walk around the block. I, you know, I I kind of thought about doing that someday. I wish I should have a portable thing to do that. Uh, yes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Anywho. So, it sounds like you guys got a good solid plan and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. you know did you have any questions for me? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Okay. You know everything about me, huh? You do. No, huh? no. What do you know about me? What have I done? What do you know me from? A lot of wrestling. You, you see my wrestling of... matches? Where he competed at wrestling. Where did you compete at in wrestling? <laughs> well, <laughs> that's fun. Um, well, wrestling, wrestling. I was an I was a high school wrestler back in the day, but I trained at the Killer Kowalski School of Wrestling in Malden, uh, up my neck of the woods. And some of the other people who trained with me originally, I don't know if you ever heard of these guys, John Cena. You probably never heard of him. He's a nobody. Um, I did. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. He's he's a nobody now. Uh, <laughs> Guys like my good friend uh, CM Punk, nobody, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, um, I started I started wrestling training when I was 18, and I was six months before I graduated high school. And I got my first contract in pro wrestling when I was 19, right after I graduated high school, just six months later. And um, I got signed to old school ECW, Extreme Championship Wrestling. That was my first job in pro wrestling. My first boss in pro wrestling was a guy named Paul Heyman, who you might see on television. If you watch, do you watch pro wrestling? Probably not, huh? That's okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna fault you for not watching pro wrestling. It's okay. It's not for everybody. I barely watch the new stuff anymore. But yeah. uh, I started doing that, and I wrestled for old school ECW. I was a good guy, and I was also in shape, a lot better shape than I am now. And then I got injured, which happens in everything we do. Um, and then I was allowed to work out, which bummed me out. So then I came back to pro wrestling because that's what we do. And then I became a new character, Jazz Fitness. And they put me on YouTube, my, rest, my old wrestling promos as the you know early days of YouTube is where that started, where Jazz Fitness, the unfit fitness guru, would come up. He was a bad guy. Um, so in wrestling, there's characters, right? There's good guys and bad guys. Good guys are called faces, baby faces for short, yeah. short faces. Bad guys are called heels. Yeah. So I was always a good guy going into wrestling because I was. I was a bully buster. I don't like bullies. I, I I'm <laughs> that's always been my thing. I don't like watching people getting bullied or punked out. I don't like when people are picking on someone smaller and weaker than them. I don't stand yeah. for that. That's just something. Yeah. My my dad and my and uh my mom say uh that that if somebody if somebody like picks on me at school, yeah. I'm a You can't dust. Uh, I can <laughs> I can don't smack the crap out of you. Just say whatever you want to say. I right? would. Uh, I w and so what they told me was if somebody took on me, I can't throw a first punch, but they hit me first. Uh, I I either choke them if they punch me in the face, I'm beating them up. I'm not going to. All right, that's what I told my kids too. So that's okay. That's great advice. Uh, that's exactly what I would tell my kids. That's what I told my kids. So yeah. that's solid advice. And I think that's great. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we get in those situations where um, people, the realistic thing about bullies are they're punks for the most part, and they're not stupid like people think they are. And I think a lot of people take that like the old things they used to tell us where, you know, turn the other cheek or walk away or ignore them. 
These are all <laughs> fake. Those are all fake things. These don't help anything except okay, make it worse. That's right. So I always tell people the opposite of what you know the other people say to people. When I go and stand in front of a school auditorium, which I do a lot now, especially around the beginning part of the school seasons, I go to the old schools where I once walked the hallways. And like I tell the kids, sometimes you have to stand your ground because the only way you're going to show the bullies and take away what they really want was that power is by showing them you're not going to be a you're not going to be a punching bag. You're not there for their amusement. You're a person and you're not going to stand for it. Once you do that, they're not going to bother with you. So that's my thing on that whole thing. But yeah, uh, we don't want to talk about my dad's high school. Don't bring me into this. <laughs> I get a bullies all the time. I told you that. I know. He whacked somebody over the head with a book, right? Yeah. You see yeah. It sounds like you and your dad and I would get along wonderfully in high school. That's that, <laughs> your dad sounds like we'd get along really well. <laughs> oh yes. Do you know what my nick do you know what my name was in pro wrestling? My early days and what my nickname is? No. My nickname in wrestling is my actual nickname the kids in school gave me, which was Jazz Vengeance. Jazz, as you can see, everything's jazz, Sean Jazz, Stevens, and everything else, right? But Jazz Vengeance was the nickname the other kids gave me in school. The reason I got that name is because I had to go, I had to leave school for a little while. And that was when all the bullies thought it was a good idea to pinpoint my friends while I was not there. But when I came back, I told my friends to tell all those kids who were being mouthy and thought they were tough and thought that they were going to be having rampant days, tell them, I'm coming back to school on Monday. Tell them when I get back there, when Jazz comes back, vengeance is coming for every single one of them. So by the end of the day, I'm not proud of this, not 100% not proud of this, but I had 16 fights in one day, my first day back to school. Before school, during school, after school, 16 fights one day. By the end of the school day, the other kids would say, Jazz Vengeance is coming. Vengeance is coming. Because they're already calling me Jazz anyway. Jazz is not, I was not given the name Jazz because I like music, the music of jazz. I was Jazz because of the multiple things that I did back in high school. I mean, because I didn't really fit into one mold. I was an athlete, I was also someone who could do theater. I could also, I was also very smart and intelligent. I did a lot of writing. I enjoyed writing and doing a schoolwork. I know, go figure. I was smart too. But mm -hmm. I utilized all the, that's why I was full of all that jazz, as the kids would say. So that's where jazz Looks came. Like you can help me with math. What's that? Looks like you can help me with math. Yeah, I don't know about that. Math was my okay. B subject. To get per, to get on a roll, you're allowed one one high B, and that was my B subject was math. I can't stand math, but my son is a whiz on it. My my son could probably help you if you needed help with that. <laughs> but other other than that, I, I you know that was kind of my thing there. But yeah, at the end of that day, Jazz Vengeance was coming. That was my freshman year of high school. Throughout the entire year, four years of high school. Everyone in school called me Jazz Vengeance or JV or Vengeance or J Jazzy V. I pretty much heard every single indication of that combination throughout high school and even to this day. Most people call me Jazz or one of those variations. When I got injured, I, I you know, obviously I wasn't allowed to do all the things that made me me. So they want to make me a bad guy character, me in the heel, because when I told my my wrestling trainer what the kids called me in school and why, he said, that's who you are. So that was my early name in, in ECW, my early wrestling career. I was Jazz Vengeance. Or I am six feet tall, 210 pounds. I'm the man, myth, and legend. Jazz Vengeance. Don't be afraid. Be terrified. That was how that went. Then I got injured, came back. And uh, <laughs> because I looked like I was even, I was bigger than I was. And uh, I don't know, they say wrestling's fake. You ever heard that wrestling's fake? You heard that one? I don't know if you can see that. I'm missing teeth. 
wrestling is this happened in a pro wrestling match. I got hit in the face with a chair. <laughs> Two minutes into a match. With a I, chair? With a why'd chair. You know? in why'd, you get hit with, why'd you get hit with that chair? <laughs> That's pro wrestling. That's what you do in wrestling, I guess. So I got hit in the face with a chair, and I still had to go for 45 minutes with a broken tooth. I didn't even know the tooth was missing because I was I kept on going. When I got injured and actually blew my knee out in the ring, that my, like in 2003, which was like the biggest year I had, um, that that match I I got hurt like five minutes into the match. They put me through the table the wrong way, a table, and um, you know I still had to go 30 minutes in that match with a knee that I couldn't stand on. Which isn't funny, but remember that when next time someone tells you wrestling's fake, <laughs> because uh, that was the grit factor I learned from martial arts that kept me going strong. Because there were a lot of times, and I don't recommend doing this, by the way. If you get injured, take the time to recover. Don't rush back quickly. Trust me on that one. Uh, because... If I if I get injured, my my mom would make me sit out. My mom. Oh, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. It's probably a good, if you get injured, it's a probably a good idea to let yourself heal. Take the time to heal. Trust me when I tell you that. That's from someone who did that. Because now, <laughs> yeah, fun times. But anywho, yeah. um, Jazz Fitness came. That was how when I came back I was a bad guy. Jazz Fitness, the YouTube sensation, the guy who was. <clears throat> The one with the bulging biceps, the perfect pecs, and the washboard abs. Bow and worship the greatness of this jazz fitness. Completely different than the other character. And I had a talk show segment called the Fitness Center, where I would have people come in the show and usually make fun of them. And usually they beat me up. <laughs> and believe it or not, that was a character was over. Then I got out of wrestling and decided, you know, I wanted to prolong my life and be with my family. So I came off the road and took a writing job and worked for a little company called WWE. I don't know if you've heard of that. Wrestling. Uh -huh. Well, after I got in, put into the New England Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame, because at the point I was doing 19 years at that point. I mean, then 20 plus years now. Uh, that's in pro wrestling, not not the martial arts that I did prior to that, which I just went back to the dojo. I've been helping them train over there as well, where I once trained myself. And, and actually, my buddy who I trained with took over the dojo. Uh, what do you call your where you train? You call it a gym or do you call it a center? What do you call yours? We call we call ours a gym. It's a it's a what? A gym. A gym. That's all right. What's wrong with the gym? I heard people yeah, call it a center too. They don't really, uh, they don't really uh, bow. They don't like, they don't bow on the mats and stuff like that. They're like, <laughs> uh, they're a little bit different than like traditional martial arts schools. They're because they're more MMA, MMA based. Mm -hmm. uh, so I get it. I mean, when I things, uh, yeah, we 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 more or less specialize. And nogi, and uh, we we more or less specialize in nogi and uh, um, and uh, MMA and wrestling. <clears throat> we don't I mean, we we have gi class, but all of our kids don't like it because they all wrestle. Like one of our requirements to compete, like we don't care if you're not ready to compete, but if you if you are going to compete, you have to do wrestling. It's not a choice. Like just because like our our gym has a really good wrestling program too. Mm -hmm. So uh it, and all of our curriculum is is based off of wrestling, not really jujitsu. Okay. Uh that's a good that's a really good strategy. Yeah. That's really smart. Yeah, because wrestling it just it just dictates where the fight goes. Yep. Um now, yeah, if they're already on the ground, you gotta learn how to pass, you know. If you're doing a jujitsu match, you gotta learn how to pass. But if it's MMA, you know, they're they're not gonna sit down on the ground. They're not oh, so especially in your young year. In your young year, you're you know, they're just they're just trying to throw punches and stand up until somebody tries to take them down and then they start ground pound. Yeah, I like for like youth MMA, like 
a lot of the kids want to there. You have two kids, you have two types of kids. You have kids that just want to stand mm-hmm. and they're like, they think it's like a, a kickboxing match. Yeah. Uh, and then you got kids that are like, all right, I'm just going to close the distance and I'm going to take it down to the ground. And I'm if, then it's going to be a, a, a jiu-jitsu match. Uh, oh. so right now in youth, in youth MMA, now once you get to like 12, 13, 14, it's when I it starts, to take, uh, it starts everybody. getting like strategic, like I try to take a little mix down. of everything. I try to take everybody down in the, uh, my MMA match. My first MMA match, I won by this. By decision, and and my second match, I got, I I won by arm triangle. I got the Islam. <laughs> I got the Islam. I don't know if you know who Islam Makachev is, but in our household, Khabib is our is my favorite. Oh, so Khabib Jackson, awesome. obviously, what? Khabib's great, Khabib. He's out the Russian fighter, out the UFC yeah. fighter from awesome guy. Oh, so we're a huge fan of his style. Like that's the style that, like, if I were to, if I, if, ja- if Jackson has all the right attributes for that, like he he has good power, mm-hmm. probably. Um, but he's um, we, we haven't started uh, kickboxing class. He does striking with a, a really good. He's an ex UFC fighter. Uh, Alex White. This is one of his coaches. Uh, Alex the Spartan White. <laughs> um. Yeah. And so we he, so he enough, does. We were warned of saying uh, it's because uh, he got interviewed by uh, Joe Rogan. No. Yeah. Yeah, Joe Rogan. And <laughs> he didn't know how to speak to the camera at all. He said, all right. um, "From Fear Factor." Joe Rogan. I know Joe Rogan. Factor. And yeah, don't do that. You and, have to say it. So, no, no butt because they they asked him. <laughs> Um, uh, and he, he couldn't speak. He got, and they said, well, he's speechless, folks. <laughs> yeah, all he could say, all he could say was, you're, you're Joe Rogan from, uh, from, from Beer Factor. And then he kind of just like went blank and couldn't, he couldn't speak. It was funny. Yeah, he was a 10 time UFC vet. So he teaches Jackson like striking and jujitsu. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, so, and then he's got yeah, Joe Warden is the head MMA coach who trained, uh, who trained Alex Wyatt, mm-hmm. and his son Town is is he's going right now for his second world title, uh, mm-hmm. at uh, MMA in uh, in, in, Athens, in, in uh, some 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 spot in Greece. Some, I, I can't some it, so. island. Yeah, some island in Greece. They're uh, they're fighting for a world championship right now. Awesome. Um, and then he's got Brian Borden, who's the owner, and he's also the jujitsu coach. Um, shout out to all the three of them coaches. You should, say that. that's right. Shout them out. This is your time to shine and their time to be proud of you. Considering if you when you're the UFC champion someday, they're gonna know where you started. Remember that. Uh, Talon Warden, he he's taught me a lot. Joe Warden, Alex White. And Brian and Joey Newland. Yeah. They've taught me a lot. And Danny. And Danny. Let, let me ask you a question. Danny. If you were given the opportunity, would you face Talon? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> How did he, he, do? he don't care. He don't care. He ain't scared of Talon. Now, everybody else is. Everybody else is. He don't care, though. And I'm the youngest person in the gym. And Oh, that's great. That's awesome. They play toe tag all the time. Um. <laughs> He, he he keeps saying he's gonna beat him. He's like, I'm gonna beat you. Uh, it's it's funny. They they have a really. He's like a big brother to him. You know, like that big brother type. Sure. And he's a really good uh really good mentor to have. He's a really good kid. Gets straight A's. Uh, never loses. You know? What? How does Jackson do in school? Uh, oh, I know that's I know that look. Pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> I What's got your favorite subject. He got he's got all A's and B's except for he's got one C and it, it's always the same class. Math. He just struggles in math. I'm with you. I hate math. Yeah. But he, got, he was on honor roll. He he didn't have any B's, uh any C's last uh uh last quarter of his last <laughs> of his last year. No, no lies. 
Yeah, that's in the first quarter. The first, the first quarter, he, he had an F on his progress report, and we told him that we would take, we would take martial arts away from him if he didn't, uh -oh. if he didn't get it under control. Yep, that's good. He actually, ran from the gym for two weeks, the longest two weeks of his life. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, and oh, I hate it. And, uh, and then he got his grade uh, up. He got it up to a C <laughs> minus. Uh, he got it up to a C minus the uh, in the first quarter. Back. Yeah, then I gave it back to him. And then ever since then he's been good with the school. Uh he he was just going, I think he was just going through a, a weird phase, I guess, where he's well, he, oh yeah. But uh yeah, he uh he gets he gets good grades now. He was on an honor roll his fourth quarter last year. He hasn't got another report card yet, so uh it's early yet. It's early. it's just it's didn't school just start? Um, for, for him, he's been in school for about two months. He'll have here in the next month, he'll have a report card. He, right now he has A's and B's and one C. So, A's and B's? Yeah. does he so, go um, to the schools? Or does he actually go to the schools or do you do, does he do the homeschool thing? A lot of people do that too. Um, see a lot of the kids do do that. Like right now he's doing public school. We've talked about it. Um, we have an affiliate gym in Oklahoma and, uh, Ronnie, Hi, Shaw, uh, Taylor Ellis' is dad, and he uh he tells he tells us he's like, man, that's homeschooling. Uh, if you can get some uh, good curriculum and uh not lose out on social life, because that's a hard thing with the kids. Like, I got a question. Can I show you guys some of my moves? <laughs> we're gonna show us moves. So, we moves to. We're gonna put them on. Put them on what? You think I'm gonna show you moves? What moves are you gonna do? Show me. Oh, for, let me ask you a question. Well, well, yeah, absolutely. But let me ask you a question first. Uh, uh -huh. Let me yeah, absolutely. You can, you can put on a show. Why not show people what they're gonna be afraid of? That's what I say. But uh, let me ask you this before you do that. Um, when it comes to like social stuff in school, the kids at school know that you do martial arts, and how does how do they treat you at school? Do they respect that? Do they give you out of time? Yeah, does they respect that. You? Nobody wants to find me. I'm scared of you. What happened? <laughs> he said nobody wants to find us. Yeah, he don't really have one kid wanted to fight me. One okay. he kicked the he kicked oh, tell him the story. Uh so this kid was shoulder checking me and then he kicked me and and shoved me. So I had enough and I threw him on the ground. <laughs> and, and the teacher and everybody started snitching on me. I'm like But he, they was all on camera, and he, they seen that he hadn't started it. But the kid, the kid, uh, yeah, he, he judo threw him I uh, to the ground, and uh, he, he uh, walked away from him. And was like, I'm not gonna beat you up. Like he could have beat him up. You know, he was in a pretty bad spot, and he just walked away from him, and uh, uh, pretty much was like, you need to stop messing with me, dude. I, and uh, the kid, nah, I, I don't know. Does he still? Does he mess with you anymore? No. He left the school. Oh, he left the I school. Bet he did. <laughs> See, you chased him right out the door. See, that's what you got to do. He was afraid that Jackson was going to wipe him out the next time. That's good. Yeah, he uh, he has some very good self control. We, like our gym, don't play with that. Like you can't you can't get into like he's so trained. He, he if he fought the average nine year old, he, huh, I'd get sued. I'm getting sued. He's going to juvie. Yep. It'd be yep. all bad. You know what I mean? Like, especially in, in today's world, it kind of sucks how it is these days. But the fact that he does what he does kind of helps everything because, like, yeah. nobody and, – and, like, he has friends that actually do – that do martial arts at another gym that in town, and they know who he is. Like, they they know how – they know Jack, so they're, like – they always vouch for him. Like, yeah, dude, like, he's, he's that good. You don't want to mess with him. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I kind of help. Fred, that's awesome. It's not just him <laughs> saying, like, yeah, you don't know me. You know what I mean? Yep. It's somebody else saying it, too, so it helps a lot. Awesome. All right, Jackson. You wanted to show some moves, did you? What are you, you going right, to do for moves? On. Hey, babe. Uh, Remy. Remy, you want to record Jax real quick? I can, right. I'm going to send you a copy of it anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> You'll have a copy of whatever is on here anyway. 
Well, I was thinking that way that here, let really, me stay right here. Don't put, don't take it off the charger. And okay, what are you gonna do first of all? Huh? <laughs> I'll you what I need it. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna see, is this water? Okay, so. What you wanna do? Don't okay, hurt Dan. There's one thing that you wanna do is, and this is one of them, all right? I'm gonna grab the We wrist. cannot see. <laughs> ah. Did you take a video on the side or did you mess up? Right? It's on the other side. Uh, here, here, come over here. All right. Follow me. It's, right. Kind of, it's my way. Why is it your Oh, yeah. Turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Uh, Welcome back. I'm not up. It's cool. I've been there, done that. Oh. Right, here, right, here. Right, right. You're going to have to do this thing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Don't hurt your dad. Uh, can you try see? not to hurt. Try, we can see it. Yeah. Right, try not so to hurt your dad too, too much. Like, okay. Grab you. Grab you. You're gonna, right here. Gonna, what you want to do is you're going to try to bring your arm away or go like this and then grab both. <laughs> that, that, just try and move. You got an arm bar. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. All you got to do is come on. Go See, he's got a gym. Daddy, go for it. Okay, so he's got a little gym in his room too. He's got oh. wrestling mats here, so like and a pet turtle. And a pet turtle. Man, did you know that? <laughs> pet turtle. What's the turtle's name? What's the turtle's name? Tell me, it's Donatello. Uh, he didn't even name it. I, I he just said, uh, "Yeah, I have it. I'm having it." What's the name of the turtle? Turtle. It's no name right now, apparently. I had a snake growing up. I got my first snake when I was five. She, she died when I was 20 years old. My Whoa. All right. And I didn't know there was a, such thing as a girl snake. <laughs> Things you learn. I got to show another move. I got to show another move. He, he's just so hell-bent on showing you this. Uh, another, I don't know what he wants to show you. All right, what? so okay. your dad. Your dad needs to do stuff. So you grab Here's this on. This you you grab this on. You go like this. Make sure that the knee that you pick up is that that one. And then you go like this. You grab the bicep. You, you need to have the head control. Yeah. Put this leg up. And if they want you, they can grab it. It makes it easier if they grab it. Oh man. And there's an arm bar. <laughs> and then no, no here's another on. one. Here's okay. another one. One more. This is it. No more after this. Poor right. dad. So they're gonna put You're a trooper. You're a trooper. Always, I get it. Always the dummy. Gonna, I get they're it. Gonna come out. And you're gonna A little arm drag. He wanted to show you. But you're not gonna do that. He's too bad. <laughs> it's down to you. All right, no. we got an interview. Go. All right. That was good. Very well. Good job. Uh, out of curiosity, did you know that you're going to be a wrestling character in a game? Did you know that? Yeah. What do you think of that? I gave a little bit of a rundown, but I didn't know. So you, you go ahead and explain it to him. <laughs> so are you going to do push ups now? Oh, good for you. And, and talking to you. I don't know. He's he's on. A, he's in the mood right now. Uh, yeah, so what? Good for you. <laughs> Putting on a show. That's good. That's it. So, yeah. So, what are your thoughts on becoming a video game character and fighting against other people in a video game world that we have on our show? Well, I haven't played yet. Have you seen your design? Yeah, I've seen my design. What do you think of your design so far? Pretty good. Yeah, and are you going to be ready on October 4th when we have you debut? Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Am I uh, officially in the video game or not? Oh, you're in the game. We built you. You're ready to go. You have your entrance. You're all set to go. And I think my son already booked you in a match already since we do a show together. Uh you want me to tell you who you're facing? 
Who? It's no big deal. You're just facing Matt Riddle. No big deal. Do you know who Matt Riddle is? No. He's a former UFC, former MMA fighter. Uh, he was just released from WWE, but he was in the UFC as well. Oh man, I know who he is. Yeah, he he. You're are gonna you're gonna you were gonna face He's him. Gonna lose. But all honesty, <laughs> I think you you would have a better chance facing Brock Lesnar. Honestly, I think you should face Brock Lesnar. Which one do you think you'd run to face? Little Brock, you want to face little Matt Riddle or big Brock Lesnar? Which one you want to face? Matt Riddle or Brock Lesnar? Who would you rather face? Brock. Oh yeah. Why? Because he's a bigger dude. He's a bigger dude. What does that mean? You're smaller, dude. That means I'm faster. Now, so I wanted to explain. So you're going to be on what we call the BA MMA division. That's the division you belong to on our show. You're going to be competing against other people who are either BAs or who compete in MMA. Some of them you may actually know. Uh, people who have been on the show for a while. People like, I don't know, you ever hear of the Adele boys? You ever hear any of them? No, he, he, they were at, they were at uh, ADCC in Chicago, but he didn't see them. Oh, I've right. seen them know that, yeah, they're, they're studs. And, of course, you know Henry and Jairo Menya, the Menya boys? They're out of Texas. No, I didn't see them there. I, I didn't. I don't. I don't. I don't think we follow them, but we follow Odell boys or Jackson. Follow they, his Instagram. Follows them. Smart. Or Grayson the Super Duck Russell. You ever hear of him? Yeah, we follow him too. He's good. Yeah. Yeah. He's a he's a he knows super nasty striker as Jackson. I mean, sorry, as uh, as uh, well. Jackson's a nasty. Stri- I've actually seen you compete already, but nobody else has. So I get one leg up than everybody else has because I always put people through. Could you, uh... No. I Could I you, always... uh... Can we show a video? Of what? You? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of what? The Can other you... thing. Okay. The other thing, we have a huge division, yeah. actually. So other people, actually, the current champion is a young guy, as a kid who we, who actually just started just before you did. He's one of the newer hire, the newer people we joined is uh, Biggie Elijah Furton. You ever hear of him? No, I, mean, I don't think I've heard of him yet. He's on our. He, we just added him. Um, of course, uh, no other nightmare. Tyndall out of the UK. I, I would imagine he wouldn't see. Yeah, him. we follow him. He's a, he's a beast for real. He actually, over the weekend, when Jackson, when you won your thing over the weekend, Noah, the next day, won his, retained his title over there in the world of whatever that is. I think it's like a combination of kickboxing and what you guys do in the Brazilian. It's it's MMA. MMA? It's MMA. MMA. Out of Liverpool. Now, the only thing I got to explain, because I don't know how many people know exactly how our shows work. But um, we have it set to demo, so we don't know who's going to win and who's going to lose. We don't actually play the game, because if we did, it wouldn't look as good as it does. But so the computer ultimately picks the winners and the losers, so you know. But um, every year in June, we have an open MMA tournament. Actually, the we have what's called the Open Icon of MMA Tournament. So basically, anyone from any walk of life who competes in MMA of any style competes in this tournament and it's not just people like our guys like the you know the Dell boys and all those guys or people like yourself who is going to be competing next June by the way so get ready for that by that point you would have already got some- my birthday? huh it's it's on the computer it's on the computer it's on okay it's, we actually have a play it's actually done on a PlayStation we use uh, it's a video game character. We use the video game system, the WWE 2K. They just don't series. play it. They just use the the computers play against right. each other to see who wins. Right. So we. So hopefully you're a bad a badass enough to win, but I don't know. Right. We'll see. I I've seen you have four <laughs> matches already. You've beaten four different people, and uh, <laughs> you probably wouldn't know who any of them are, but that's okay because it's just test. See, before I, I put anyone on an actual show, I t- want to make sure everything works. Your entrance, your match, and everything else. So, solid. And actually, that outfit you're wearing right now is what you compete in for the most part. Mm-hmm. That's, your, that yeah, outfit, you. yeah, that's your outfit you compete in for the most part. You yeah. have a, you have one. And, then you have, and they have one that says Legends on it. I showed you it. 
Oh, I have two characters. No, it's the same you character. Four different outfits outfit. all together. Hold on. Yeah. Let me see. Try to see something. I don't know if I can do this. Hold on. Let me try something. I don't know if I can. Let's find out. I'm going to try to bring up a picture of you on the thing here. Bear with me. Okay. Have you seen his entrance? Would you think of his entrance? I don't think he's seen the entrance. He did see the... Uh, have you seen his entrance? I've seen the entrance. I liked it. Wait, uh, you... But you showed it to me when I was at work, and I just... I think it was a training day. But I did show him the... Uh, the, the uh, the two, the one that with his KO gear on, and then the right. one with the legends. I thought that was cool. I didn't know how you did that. Well, you I just thought there was two. So watch this. This okay. Well, let's go with your first outfit first. This is the first one. So you wear that to the ring and go. Hold oh, on. Let me see if I can do this. All right. Can you see that? Hold on. No. Hold on, let me try this. I've never actually tried to show a picture on the thing yet. Yeah. I don't think it works. It's like uh, it's like it's gone. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, 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 it, almost okay. So there's that barely. <laughs> so <laughs> you wear, actually see that outfit you're wearing in this picture over here? Yeah. That's the outfit you wear to the ring. <laughs> and you fun. can't see it, but. Actually, I have an idea. Uh, I'm going to send it. I'll, uh, you have your uh, well, you already have your phone up. Never mind. Anyway, you you, you have the proper outfit. No, actually, hold on. I got uh, uh, his mom has uh, his Instagram on her phone. Cool. Now, let me. Uh, you also have an entrance that you have pyrotechnics in your entrance. Is that okay? Do you get, do you get afraid by pyrotechnics? Meaning fireworks? You okay no. with fireworks as an entrance? Okay with fireworks. Okay, good. I dare you. Well, it's a puppy. Oh my! I'm sorry, I like dogs. <laughs> dogs are awesome. <laughs> it's a good What's your dog's name? Luna. Oh, special cameo by Luna. We might have to make her too and add her to the game. Oh yeah, you should. You should definitely. <laughs> we already had. We, we don't laugh. We have had dogs. We've built dogs recently. <laughs> <laughs> we have yeah, no you can build her. we have built pretty much everybody see yeah. what basically what our show is my son and i started this years ago when my son was sick from school so to cheer him up i built peter griffin and homer simpson you know who they are yeah okay so we because he we use the wrestling game i built peter griffin homer simpson we found out the the computer will actually play the match out so um you know we wouldn't so that way neither one of us had to play it Oh, you're showing him? Yeah. Awesome. Cool. You're showing him his entrance, too? That's crazy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, it looks like Valium has your medal. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Look, your, 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 bra your, your knee brace that you had on on ADCT. Solid. Yeah, it looks good. He, he's happy. Well, well I, th I think... Oh, yeah. oh like you even have abs, but I think those abs are better than yours. Stop, stop, Jack, stop. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought. Anyway, that's, that's, that's your thing. Uh, that was you, point. he was uh, doing the match right there. And I was showing you the entrance because that's your entrance when you go to the ring. It's a long entrance, by the way. I think I only showed you the beginning piece of it. Yeah, it was... it's a long entrance <laughs> and lots of pyrotechnics and lots of animations. Because, I, I mean, I, I haven't seen you go to a, a mat because it's a little oh, different. Than... Yeah, 18 seconds. Yeah. And um, so basically what we did, what my son and I did years ago is we kind of answered, the, we found a way to basically find out who was better than who without actually having to do anything. Because before we did that, there was really no way of finding out who's better, you know, at that point, like who, Peter Griffin or Homer Simpson. So, my son, said, so my, my, my son said, we should put this match on YouTube. I said, no one's going to want to watch video game stuff on YouTube, is what I said to him when he was 11. <laughs> He's going to be 21 in November. <laughs> but anyway, um, I said, I don't think people are going to want to watch video game stuff on YouTube, is what I told him. But we put it on anyway. And um, that's how Dream Matches started. 
and now it's evolved to icons of the F4L, which originally we were doing like Bruce Lee versus Chuck Norris, Godzilla versus King Kong, Captain America, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But then we decided we're going to start highlighting people like you guys, who people who are real life people who are working towards a goal who I think would be fantastic people. More people need to pay attention to like you and like all the other people we think are awesome. So that's how Icons of the F4L started. Um, and people I mentioned before are actually already been on our roster. In fact, if you go on to our YouTube channel mm -hmm. um, and watch some of the stuff from June, we you can watch some of our, we can actually all, all of the open MMA tournament that we did. So you can see who your competition is going to be. And uh, the, we will know We've only been doing the tournament two years now, that tournament. So um, that's a new thing we've been doing. And actually coming up, um, and also so you know, our normal schedule for our shows are the 4th, the 14th, and the 24th for the Dream Masters, which is the roster you're on. You're a Dream Master, which is our males. Females are the Dream Warriors. Um, and uh, you're on the... In the MMA, you're the BA MMA division, which means you're going to be competing for the the BA MMA title eventually. So, isn't that exciting? I'm going to win it. <laughs> you're going to win it. Oh, this is so, remember those names I mentioned earlier? <laughs> uh, these are the people who are in that division. <laughs> uh, and um, also, Jackson Robert Scott, or who we call Jackson R. Scott, he's an actor, but do you watch uh, actually? Do you watch movies? We didn't even talk about your pop culture stuff. Do you watch any movies at all, or are you just kind of stuck to the? Or do you just kind of focus on you know sports and whatnot? I watch some movies. Mm -hmm. What kind of movies do you like? Or he likes you? Barbie movies. <laughs> <laughs> he likes okay. Barbie movies. No one else. <laughs> No way. I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just Do you kidding. like horror movies? Like horror movies? For the record. Do you like horror movies or no? He likes horror. Yeah, he likes horror movies. He likes scary stuff. Do you? What's the scariest movie you've seen? Scariest movie you've seen. Mm -hmm. Let's see what this horror, this horror guy thought. Since you're debuting in October, that is the month for Halloween in October mm -hmm. and whatnot, so... I don't know, but what's what's your scariest movie? You got? Uh, Want me to do the ghost face voice? Would you, would that make you feel better? What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> <laughs> would that help? The Ghostbusters movie. The Ghostbusters movie? Is that what you just said? No, Ghost Face. Oh, Ghost! Oh, got Scream. <laughs> yeah, okay. Scream. okay. Cool. What if I was to say you're going to face Ghostface next month? What do you think of that? He's going to get this smoke. I didn't even see that he's going to get this smoke. <laughs> see, on our shows, we we have no, we can pretty much bring anybody we want in for the most part. We can face pretty much anyone for the most part, too. But um, you already already set to have a match. We just kind of finalize your opponent. Maybe my son are debating right now between a Riddle and a Lesnar. But is there someone particularly you would like to face? If you were going to face anyone mm -hmm. in the world, who would you want to fight? Khabib. Huh? Oh, I told you. Khabib. Khabib? Khabib? Yeah. You know the Khabib actually took place in our took part in our open MMA tournament this year. Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, he took. So did Ken Shamrock. Brock Lesnar, CM Punk. Can you, can you see me? Can I see you? Yeah. Can you see me? No. You cannot see me? No. Some, some, uh... Yeah, he messed up. You, you, you can see, he can see you now. I just, hey, Jack, we got, we got about five more minutes. Hey, yeah. we got five more minutes. We got to eat here in a minute. Yeah, you got to eat that stuff. The time is different here. So what we're gonna do is so yeah I want I don't want to keep you guys it's important to eat and keep you you know eating up and stuff like that so Jax I want to say thank you guys for joining us today 
Hope you guys had mm-hmm. fun. You have fun being coming on the F World Headquarters podcast. Yeah, man, it was good times. Awesome. We'll have to have you come back on again so you can tell people. So, so people know, do you guys have anything coming up? And is there anything that people should be aware of? So, I am doing a super fight this weekend and uh, October. Uh, ADCC. No, November. No, ADCC. November ADCC. Where is he going to be at? Orlando, Florida. Awesome. Awesome. And if people want to find you, where do they go to find out more about Action Jackson Baker? My Instagram. Yeah. Facebook. What's your Instagram handle? My Instagram is Action Jackson Baker. Is that the name you want to go with to the ring? Because I can tell you right now, that's kind of what you go into the ring right now, too. Oh, yeah. But I can change it. <laughs> hmm. All right, cool. All right, well, Jackson, it was great having you guys on. And maybe we'll have to have you be part of our uh, op- one of the a couple times a year, usually towards the end, we have a bunch of people like yourself who are on the show come on and one group one of these to do a watch along of our shows. Is that something you'd be interested in doing? Mm-hmm. Watching along with other people who you're going to be competing against on the show? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, cool. Jackson, thanks for joining us. I love the personality. You have a charisma about you, which is awesome. You need that. It's good to stand out. You have a confidence, which is also good. You need that as well. So, Dad, you're doing a great job. You're my kind of dude. Keep it up. Thanks, man. I support too, all man. awesome dads. And I support people who work their tail off. You guys are killing it. I'm proud of you guys. And make sure you guys tune in for October 4th when Jackson Jackson makes his debut on Icons of the F4L. Make sure you're ready for Florida because Jackson's going to go to Florida and own the place. Right, Jackson? Oh, yeah. Do you have any messages for anybody who you're going to be competing against in Florida? What are they going to see when you get down there? (laughs) Just watch out. That's right. I like it. All right, Jackson, you guys have a great night. It was great having you on. Peace. Be good. And may all your dreams come true. Peace. Peace. Safe travels.